Dawn is breaking in the American heartland. For generations, traditional farm life has remained the same, but change is on the horizon. Landscapes once dominated by livestock, corn, and beans are slowly beginning to shift. From these rich prairie soils, a new frontier in wine is emerging. New struggles, new opportunities, a new way of life. Join us as we uncork this unique time in wine history, a brand new wine region that is America's heartland. It's much harder to grow good grapes in the Midwest than it was in California. One of the uh, California winemakers once said to me, hell, any gorilla can make wine in California. We've had a long time to figure out Pinot Noir and Merlot and Syrah and Chardonnay and all that. And so when somebody does a really good job of it, that's great, but often they're just mirroring the work of someone before them. When somebody makes a really lovely Vignal or a really lovely Brianna or Edelweiss or any of these new grapes, essentially new grapes for us, this is somebody who's really pioneering. And that's pretty cool. I think that's very, very cool. They're all waiting for us. Yeah. You hear them calling, Michael. Prune me. Prune me, Dad. <laughs> Especially that row of front neck. What really, really boils my blood is the ignorance that you go to the restaurants and they don't even serve the wines. They're embarrassed by them. They're not real wines. But the people who are going in the tasting rooms love them. This is the new frontier. This is where a lot of new varieties are being developed, a lot of hybrids that are very, very interesting that can take a lot of the, the problems that nature is throwing at them. Well, at first, I never really thought of Iowa as having wineries. I, I didn't know it could be done. Man, when you find out it's here, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like Field of Dreams. <laughs> I think the day will come when uh, we'll see uh, far more wineries, not just in Minnesota, but all throughout the whole cold areas. Most of the varieties that were, were uh, considered mainline uh, didn't work here. We had to find new varieties. I used to think when I heard those stories in Europe, like the winery blaming the vineyard for something going wrong, but that's not it at all. It's perfect fruit it makes a good wine. There are multiple wines here that show so well. I love to pull out a bottle of Vignol or Sable Blanc or Marquette, and when I do pull one out to a group of California wine consumers, they say, wow, where is this made? Everybody making good wine. I want to make the best wine, but I want everybody else to make good wine too, you know. <laughs>